I wanted to take a moment just to tell you that for some inexplicable reason this camera does not capture this particular frequency of red very well so it looks dim and I wanted to assure you that it absolutely is not it's a perfect uh, display nice and bright within the room easy to read it's as bright as my other meters it's got everything to do with just the uh, the camera and its sensitivity to this particular red of red light so don't let that bother you other than that uh, everything is completely uh, uh, self-explanatory so thank you okay what we're looking at right now is a fluke model 1920A uh, it's a basic uh, unit is a 5 Hertz to 125 megahertz frequency counter uh, but it also has a 1 gigahertz uh, input to it and uh, comes with this particular unit uh, comes with a temperature compensated uh, crystal oscillator and um, just about everything about it is a little bit better than normal uh, right now what we're looking at is a calibrated 10 megahertz frequency coming from uh, this rubidium oscillator unit here and uh, that rubidium oscillator is capable of bringing in something like uh, 5 times 10 to the minus 11th uh, part per million accuracy it's, uh, it's extremely accurate and what we see is that uh, our counter right now is reading within 0.3 to 0.4 Hertz out of 10 million uh, so you can figure out your own accuracy. It's extremely accurate right now. I've just given it a calibration uh, a couple of days ago, so we're seeing the results here. And comparing it against my, my lab standard here, which is uh, at the moment 0.2 cycles off out of 10 million. Uh, remarkable unit. Let's go ahead and, uh, and use it and uh, at least test it up to uh, the extent of my uh, my calibration system here which I can hit 520 megahertz we'll see how that goes okay we've uh, dialed in a frequency of a half a million Hertz and we're getting 499,999.7 since my frequency generator is uh, more than likely responsible for the point difference, uh, this thing is reading remarkably accurately. So let's uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to zero out most of these positions here. All right, all right. We zeroed out everything uh, except for the hundred millions. So we are reading right now uh, 400 million. We would get so we've got 399 million 999.95. 999 I'm going to take it down to 200, 100, 100. All right, here's uh, 90. Oops, sorry. It's 190. There's 90. Eighty. Seventy. Sixty. Forty million. Four it's actually fifty million. Forty nine nine ninety nine. 40 million, 30 million, 20 million, 10 million. Now we could actually pick up more resolution by changing scales. But we're from 50 megahertz to a gigahertz, you're supposed to be accurate on the top, and we're reading accurately down to 10 megahertz. Let's go ahead and uh, take her down to the lower frequency input 
Okay. And looks like we can reduce our resolution up here. So out of my generator right now, I'm getting 9,999,997. So I'm 3 hertz off. Not bad for my generator. Excellent for the meter. And uh, let's keep going here. Alright, here's 9,000,000. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Nine hundred thousand hertz. Go ahead. Well, I don't want to take our resolution up because it'll take too long. Let's uh, let's keep going at this rate. Nine hundred thousand, eight hundred, seven hundred, six hundred, five hundred, four hundred. Now we've gone well below the uh, the intended range of the PTS, so I think I'm going to stop here, and we're going to switch to um, an HP 3320B, and we could continue the test further down. Okay, we're now connected up to this HP 3320. We've dialed in uh, 900 kilohertz. And we're picking up where we left off. Here's 900 kilohertz on the meter. 800, 700, 600, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, 90. I'm going to go ahead and change my range on the uh, unit. Alright, we are at 90 again. 80. 70. 60. 50. 40. 30. 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. All right. Let's go ahead and raise up our resolution on this. I'm gonna, I'm going to um, go to a 10-second gate, and we'll get a 10-second average here. We're only gonna check a couple of points this way because it just takes too long. Alright, we are right now at 1 kilohertz and we are getting a reading of 1.0000. So, to within a tenth of a hertz, we're 1 kilohertz. Let's uh, change our range. our one kilohertz again. Sorry for the shakiness. Here's 900 hertz. Eight hundred. 
Like I said, it takes a while. We'll get this one and we're going to jump down to 500. There's 800. There's 5. When I change uh, switch settings, it disturbs the count, so you don't get an accurate count till you get the second count, so it actually takes us 20 seconds after I make a setting change. There's uh, 500 hertz. Let's take her down to 100. There's 100. We enter into the counting sequence now. We're going to have to wait for two cycles. Back off so we can, we can see the status light. It just blinked. So there's there's a hundred cycles to the tenth. All right, let's take her down to um, let's take her down to ten cycles. All right, we just entered into the test sequence. There's the first status. We got to wait for the next one. This will give us a full full average of a count. There it is. So there's 10 cycles to the 10th of a cycle. That's a beautiful thing. Let's uh, go ahead and take her down to uh, 1 hertz and see if we get anything. It's only supposed to be rated at 5, so we might not. There's one. 1.0 hertz. There's no sense testing any further. We've got it. So we have tested from 500 megahertz, or half a gigahertz, and giving you a, a series of range readings all the way down to a hertz. And this thing has been remarkably accurate. Now let's just take a little tour of it. I'm going to disconnect it and we'll give a little tour of the unit just to show you how nice a shape it's in. Okay, I wanted to give you a chance to see this unit once again. Give you a, a quick view of its uh, condition. Physically it's in excellent condition. Uh, functionally it's working perfectly. I have been extremely happy with it. It's one of these units where I hate to part with it. I've fallen in love with the unit. But I I really have if I fell in you know, kept every unit that I fell in love with, I would be broke shortly, so can't do that, but uh, somebody's gonna get an excellent unit. There are few if any scratches on this unit, uh, a tiny nick right here I think, but other than that, beautiful condition. The stand is in great condition. Um, let's turn it around the other way. Both sides are excellent. We have an external uh, clock input. So we can go externally or internally. I mentioned uh, that this uses a uh, temperature compensated crystal oscillator. It's a CTS unit. Um, CTS part number 970-36520, 10 megahertz unit. I'm going to give you a look at the interior of this unit in a moment. You'll see that uh, that oscillator I was talking about. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I removed the housing and um, we're going to open up the inside of this unit. Let's get a good look at the uh, outside of it first. It's shielded very nicely, both top and bottom. It's built very nicely. These shields remove easily. They have uh, penetration holes for calibrations. Alright, 
Now we're getting a chance to look at the interior of this unit. This would be our prescaler board for the 1 gigahertz. And this is the input uh, conditioner for the basic functional unit. Nice workmanship, good layout, nice parts, good looking board, fiberglass assembly. Uh, this was an uh, expensive unit. There's our, uh, our TCX oscillator. I don't know if we can read this right or not here. Well, I'm going to hope we can. It says PTS Knight Incorporated. And it has uh, part number PN9703652020. That would be this unit right there in the back. You have an access point underneath the unit. It's a calibration hole. I uh, provided an access through the case to the calibration hole. So you can calibrate it without removing the case, which is very handy just to uh, tweak the unit up. The rear or bottom uh, panel also removes easily. There we go. And there's a good look at our bottom. Everything is in fine condition. Uh, it did uh, originally suffer with a problem on the uh, power switch, but I have fixed that power switch. No problem. All right, so there we go. Let me put this unit back together and we'll talk in a moment. Well, as usual, um, this unit will come with a nice set of leads, new leads, and, uh, and it includes an instruction manual for the 1928. It's the model that it is. So, good luck on your bidding, and uh, we'll hope to see you uh, again. Bye. Thanks for listening.